I have to paint the most well I've got some of my uh, prepared earlier um, these are some I'm doing for Christmas cards in 2009 so I've done the craning in with my crayons mm -hmm. and um, now I'm going to do the ink washes so you'll need to get your uh, nice flat brush and some oh dear some lovely clean water <laughs> I'll just go and get some clean water mm. you haven't been telling them anything have you <laughs> no <laughs> well, this is some clean water in the jam jar of your choice. And now what I'm going to do, I think in my, uh, I'm going to take some uh, yellow ink, make the, uh, the brush nice and nice and wet, and I'm going to pour, can you see this, I'm going to pour a bit of uh, ink onto the brush, okay, and just let it cascade onto the, uh, <laughs> oh, onto the uh, picture. This one I think I'm going to call, um, Choosing a tree, let me see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, choosing a tree. Here we are. So as you see, that yellow as it's gone on to the blue has made it green. <laughs> Which we don't really want. So um, what I'm going to do now is uh, take some brown ink and uh, do the same. So I'm putting a little bit of brown ink on there. And it depends how textured you want it, really. Um, as you see, there's a bit of kind of um, wax resist kind of going on, and really you've just got to carry on working with the ink until it dries onto the um, dries onto the pastel. Okay, so now um, we've got to the uh, stage where the uh, the ink has actually dried onto the uh, oil pastel, and it's time to take it off again. So um, I'm going to take a piece of kitchen roll and uh, wet that a bit in our very clean water but you don't want it too wet I tend to uh, <laughs> get it wet and then find a, a dry bit see what I mean there you go that's about that's about right and then I'm just going to um, remove remove the ink from certain parts so you start to come back to the uh, start to come back to the blue but as you've seen the uh, the green and the brown sorry the yellow and the brown are staying in the uh, the textured bits so it depends how hard you rub if you rub very hard you're going to rub it all off and I'm hoping this is going to look a little bit Christmassy this picture um, so I'm going to have to uh, put some snowflakes on I guess you're never going to guess how I do the snowflakes <laughs> can you guess how I'm going to do the snowflakes right I think that's Hmm, so, no, that looks alright. That looks alright for layer two. So we're just going to leave it there. Right, um, I'm going to, uh, I've got a little brush here, and I'm going to take a little bit of the brown ink and uh, just start working it onto the, um, the characters. So I think we've done the background now. And um, just. And this is like a bit of a, a bit of an inexact kind of thing. There, that may be a few, or oh, quite like a, a fingerprint there. There, and just kind of working with uh, making the shadows as well. I think that looks quite nice for his uh, for his coat, isn't it? And you've seen how easy it is to do. You're not going to pay me uh, all this money, are you, for doing one for you? Can do your own at home. Save me the bother. <laughs> I've got this, which is a, uh, a Chinese um, a Chinese brush pen, and I just use this to put the uh, the darks on. Um, it's uh, a really soft black, and uh, sometimes when a chocolate brown won't do. There, here we go. Okay, and then um, a little bit of white ink. See, see that? It's funny, isn't it? Two layers. Looks a bit like a cappuccino. I'll give that a good shake. So, um, and this white is uh, quite opaque. Um, there. 
so I can just um, whiten up the white bits. Well, this is this is coming along, isn't it? Hmm. And what I might do is a little quick uh, kind of shadow there in the snow. Just to give it a little bit of uh, depth, and perhaps, perhaps we need a bit more darkness on the. I'm not convinced with these plant pots. I'm not convinced. Hmm, that's a bit better, isn't it? What do you reckon? If in doubt, apply a thumb, I think, there. And now, in general, I uh, do a bit of uh, pencil work. Just to um, bring out a few of those lines. So I've got a, we'll see how this works. Um, yeah, just, just so you can see the bits that I've, uh, all the lines I've gone over. Horace Duck needs, a, needs an eye. So you don't want to kind of overwork this, otherwise it just looks like um, a cartoon, I suppose. And I'm just going to put the uh, the lines back in a bit stronger where I took them out. Well, no, I where I kind of went over them a bit, didn't I? Especially on his little leggies there. And there. I think that's looking nice. Um, what do you think of that? Not sure about that shadow on the face. The good thing about this way of working is because it's uh, the ink is actually sitting on the top. Oops! I could take off that shadow. Just yeah. So it's not quite as he's not quite as grim as he was. Um, what I'm wanting is just to do a little bit of a splatter. But um, stand well back. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, see that's that's a good splatter, isn't it? That splatter is like that on here. But I think with snow, quite, it's quite nice to do the, uh, <coughs> the first the first splattering. is is quite light because that's almost like there's snowflakes in the distance. See, that's probably a bit much there. If you ever do a bit much, it's all right because then you can just go la la, and then it's gone a bit. Isn't it? Yeah, and then I'm going to try doing um, I'm going to try doing some with this this big brush I'm just uh, drying it off there now this should be big snowflakes let's see if it's going to work yeah so That's quite, uh, when they're quite directional like that, it's no good really. There. So, <laughs> I might have thought again. There. And just going to paint that, that bit of film out there. Hmm. Well, how about that? Merry Christmas.